Today, GPS and similar navigation systems use satellites in space to help you navigate where you want to go here on Earth. Tomorrow, these same satellites will transform navigation in space as well as making life on Earth safer, healthier, and more productive. And they will even help navigate missions to the moon and spacecraft on the way to Mars. This will be accomplished through the international collaboration and capability called the Space Service Volume. Worldwide, there are four global navigation satellite systems and two regional navigation satellite systems, collectively known as GNSS. These navigation constellations include the United States' GPS, Russia's GLONASS, Europe's Galileo, China's BDS, India's NAVIC, and Japan's QZSS. Individually, these constellations can significantly improve navigation for spacecraft in low Earth orbit, like the International Space Station, or missions that measure climate change and map the Earth's surface. But for the spacecraft located in higher orbits, in a region we call the Space Service Volume, navigation is more challenging. The Space Service Volume stretches from 3,000 to 36,000 kilometers above Earth. Most navigation satellite orbits are inside this region and broadcast their signals toward Earth. However, it is challenging for other satellites, like weather or communication satellites, at the top of the space service volume to receive these signals. Users on the other side of Earth receive weaker signals from navigation satellites because of longer travel distances. Additionally, the Earth blocks most of the navigation satellite's signals. In response, engineers have developed special technology to navigate with weaker and fewer signals in view. But this does not overcome all of the challenges. Because users in low Earth orbit are below the navigation satellites, the individual constellations can guarantee lots of signals for missions like Space Station. In the upper reaches of the Space Service volume, users receive significantly fewer navigation signals and many times no signals at all. If all navigation constellations are able to operate together, signal reception dramatically improves with an average of 4 to 12 signals in view and at least one signal continually. This is critical to ensure navigation support 24-7, 365. This unified system is called the Multi-GNSS Space Service Volume. So how do we get all of these constellations working together? The International Committee on GNSS, the ICG, sponsored by the United Nations Office of Outer Space Affairs, is leading collaborative efforts to ensure that all of these systems are interoperable through the creation of common definitions and specifications. Operating together, this combined system of navigation satellites will be transformational for missions operating within and above the space service volume, significantly improving navigation performance and enabling spacecraft to navigate autonomously without any direction from the ground. This technology enables accurate pinpointing of extreme weather, like flash floods, tornadoes, and hurricanes, crucial for public safety and more accurate weather prediction. It will fuel future advancement in observing, communicating, and working in space, even extending all the way out to the moon. Like GNSS has transformed our lives on Earth, navigation in space will enable scientists to devise exciting new missions, improving science, and enhancing our life on Earth, all via the multi-GNSS space service volume.